this video, I'll show you how to install the latest version of Ubuntu, which is version 24, into your MacBook. It could be any type of MacBook, uh, Mac OS, uh, with Apple chip, Intel chip, M1, M2, M3, M4, or any. And this is the latest version of this video because uh, I see that you guys require a lot of these type of installations on my channel. So I'm showing you how to install it for a MacBook uh, 2. You have to go to this website, which you can find the link in the description. You can download it here and make sure to download not AMD but ARM, which is the ARM version with the ARM ar uh, type of architecture of processor, which is the uh, also the Apple chip. So just click on this one and it will start to download the ISO image and it's about 3.1 gigabytes and uh, but I cancel it because I already have it. And the second thing is to download UTM. So UTM download on Google and make sure to download it from the website, official website, because uh, in App Store it is with it is paid, I think, because many people report it is paid. So you click on download. Uh, after that is downloaded, you can just go ahead and open this uh, set up to install the UTM and it's very very simple just drag and drop it into the applications but I won't do it that because I already have it and I will close this and now just go ahead and open UTM and uh, here you have to click on create new virtual machine here make sure to choose virtualize because this is for the ARM versions and emulate is for Intel if you have an Intel chip with your Mac so I'll go with virtualize and I will choose Linux because I have Ubuntu and browse Click on browse to, to choose the boot ISO image, which is node desktop um, ARM64 and then continue. Memory is OK. And also the CPU cores, you don't have to you, ha you don't have to edit them. Then continue. And in the gigabytes, I'll choose about 25. And the storage about gigabytes, I'll choose about 25 gigabytes is good for the Ubuntu. And continue. If you, you can share a directory from your Mac to Ubuntu if you'd like, but I won't do that now. And check your settings and save. So this will save the Linux machine and make sure to have the CD DVD to have this noble desktop stop arm 64 ISO and then just click on play. This will start the virtual machine and will start to boot into that ISO image. And as soon as it boots, you have to click on try or install Ubuntu. And for now, it will show you display output is not active. This is happening because actually the boot is not booting uh, program is not showing any ad output or any output or any display. So what you have to do is just wait for some seconds and it will fix by itself. Okay, now it is starting and it's preparing as you can see the setup. So we'll go through which each step for the installation. I will show you how to do that. So first use your language English next and you can skip these accessibility and English again for the keyboard. Use wired connection for the internet. This means that it will use your MacBook internet connection. You can run the update if you want, but I will skip it for now. And just click on install Ubuntu next and choose interactive installation. And here, what apps you'd like, you can uh, also extend and install more apps that could be beneficial for different utilities that could be beneficial for coding, for watching videos, for browsing or any uh, type of programs, but I'll leave the default selection. And here you make sure to check install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware, because this will fix the uh, display, will make it HD and the highest quality possible and also it will fix the internet connection and you can download media formats for videos too but I won't do that for now and click on next choose erase disk and install Ubuntu it won't erase your MacBook disk but the virtual virtual machine disk that is from UTM so don't worry about that I'll go with that and uh, put the name of your computer and choose a password next location okay and install okay so now the installation is running it will go through copy files uh, installing the system and setting up the system and I'll skip the video and I'll be back to you soon. Okay, so the installation is finished and now we can restart. Click on restart now and for some reason it is not restarting. So what you can do is just to shut down, click the shut down button, shut it down and then go to UTM. And here in the Linux uh, machine, what you can do is to scroll down, go to the CD and DVD, and you have to clear this uh, ISO image because we don't want to run the installation again from the beginning. It is already installed in this virtual machine. And now I click play again, and here you go. We got the Ubuntu and just open it and put the password that you put before, and it will run directly into your computer. 
So as you can see here is Ubuntu 24 version, the latest one. Uh, it works perfect. You can go to full screen and you can just uh, use it as you can use your MacBook. So if you want better graphics, you can go and make the updates and graphic drivers and internet drivers and everything else that is needed and it will work for you. Okay, so let's see. Terminal works perfect. So this was uh, the video for today, guys. Hope you'll like it. Here, as you can see, we have uh, Ubuntu into a Mac. And I'll show you that I have a MacBook M1 chip with 8 GB of RAM, a very basic version, a MacBook Air, and it should work in yours too. Also for Intel chips, if you want to do that, so uh, you can continue with the same video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.